you've got to be sealed yes, amen. by the Holy Spirit yes. to be a son mm. of God. Yes, amen. Ephesians 1 30. You've got to be called to be chosen by God. You've got to be unpicked yes, sir. by God yes. to serve in the beauty of holiness. Right. You've got to be one with the one who is closer than the brother. Yes. You've got to be united as one in Christ. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen, we are here and sometimes we don't even know who we are. <laughs> in John 17, 21, that they all be one as our Father art in me yes. and I in thee yes. and they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me in other words you, you must be Christ like yes. you must show off Christ yes. and you show off Christ oh God yes. then people will see the Christ in you and know that you are a son praise the Lord somebody your life must be in Christ to be a son to be a son of God, your life must be in Christ. Yes. You must have his spirit residing in you. Yes. You, you must have the divine nature of God in you. Oh, Jesus. Come like you don't believe me. To be a son of God, your lifestyle must be different from a normal human being. You must be of God selected few. Yes. Whereby many are called, but few are chosen. You must know who you are. You must know where you are in Christ. You must know what you are in Christ. You must know why you are in Christ. You must know when you are in Christ. Because God doesn't keep it a secret. He make it known to you that you are my son. Right. You are my child. Yes. By the spirit. Come to Romans 8.16. Yes. Right. God's spirit speak to our spirit. Right. Tell him that you are his children. Yes. Thank you Lord. Are you still with me? Still here. Amen. Amen. I want to go to Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Chapter 14. I want to show you. Oh, no, our inheritance. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. you, you got it? Yes. You got it? Yes, sir. Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Well. And the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people peculiar. unto him right, himself. Peculiar. Above all the nations that are upon the earth. Yes. Israel profited this. And God gave it to the church. Yes. Matthew 16 and verse 18. Upon this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise I said God gave it to the church, yes. because Israel profited. Yes. Then, in First Peter chapter 2, maybe I'm going too fast for you. Slow down, you're going too fast. That I feeling groovy. Da 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 da. You got it yet? Yes. All right, praise the Lord. Verse nine. But you here it is. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. That you show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Every day. Every day. Yes. So this is what the church got. Mm -hmm. Every day. Because Israel. Prophet. King came and they said, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. Who are you? That's right. 
came to his own and they forsake him. You know that we are living in the last days. And people living and suffering an identity crisis. Are you a Christian? Uh -huh. Yes. I am. Are you born again? I am. What do you mean by that? Uh -huh. Some people don't know who they are. Well, Some people don't know, know who they are. Yeah, yes. what, uh, let me say this. What used to be usual has now become normal. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Amen. So true. Yes. No, thank you. you want me to say it another way, right? Mm -hmm. The things that used to be bad is no good in the sight of man. Amen. Man passed laws yes. that emulate God's law out of your life. Yes, sir. No standards, sir. We are living a time where fruit has become food seedless. We are living a time when fruit becomes seedless. Yes. No fruit bearing tree at all. Man with man and woman with woman uh, can't bear no fruit. An abomination. Oh God. Can't produce. And I say this to you, to bring to you that God made his son to be sacred. Yes. Set apart, consecrated, majestic, dedicated. God made his son a peculiar treasure. And I say son, because we are one. In Christ. In Christ. Amen. Yes. One is Christ. He is the Son. But as sons of God, mm -hmm. we are called to step it up. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. Step up our game. Be like Amen. him. Be Hallelujah. like him. The ball is now in your hand. That's right. Amen. We are called to let the beauty of the Lord be seen yes. in our lifestyle. Yes. Yes. We are called to be different yes. from the worldly people. Yes. 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 Different. You can drink all the liquor and get drunk and then say, I'm a child of the God. Jesus never did that. Cry it out. Yes, sir. Cry it out. It don't work that way. When you come to God to give you a new walk, you got to lift your head up high. Glory to God. Right. You are taking it by my hex drum card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. You're taking it from somebody who knows what they're saying. My greatest moment of drinking is one night at 12 o'clock of two imperial quarter of white rum. Mm -hmm. Chase it with nutriment. My God. That's a lot of heat in the body. That was then. A lot of heat in the body. My goodness. And I'm still here. Still here. Tell the story. Yes, sir. But God's still good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Doing something I didn't know that I'm not supposed to do. Fire nearly come out of your ear. Yes, sir. My goodness. But give God praise. Yes, sir. You know that nothing is random. In God's kingdom. Mm. Everything happened to fit in God's plan. That's right. That's why I'm here to tell you, don't drink. If you drive, not drink. Yes. Is a mocker. <laughs> There's nothing in liquor <coughs> to make you feel any way different. If that, there's nothing in it. You drink it. You're drunk. It's just like cigarette. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. Cigarette is terrible. Oh. But you can't know until you stop. Cause cancer too. Yes, sir. Cause cancer. Somebody don't like what Pastor said. Huh? But it's the truth. It's the truth. Yes. Or can you turn your back on the thing that you used to do? That's what you're supposed to do. Turn your back on. Oh gosh. Don't want it no more. Don't want it no more. 
Everything happened to fit in God's plan. Yes. God used our bad to bring out good. Yes. It's the hard things work together for my good. Everything happened fit in a pattern for our good. To those who love the Lord and it's called according to his purpose. As children of God, we don't need to analyze God's plan. No, no. Just fit in it. Yes, yes. Amen. You don't need to analyze God's plan, just fit in it. Yes, yes. Because hard things work together for your good. My if you are called according to his purpose. Yes. What is it? You must agree with God. Yes, must agree. Amen. You must come to the conclusion that God cannot lie, right. can do nothing bad, yes, and agree with him. Thank you, so God wants all his sons to know when we walk with him and focus our energy yes. and trust in him, nothing will be wasted. Oh. Because you're walking as a son close to him. Give me your biggest mistake, yes. Mr. Rene, mm. and sin. Mm -hmm. God will recycle it. Into something good yes. through his transformation grace. Yes. Through his transforming grace. Yes. He will recycle it. Yes, sir. Look at the beauty now. Look at the beauty now. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God is good. Look at the beauty now. Wow. Yes. That's what God will do. In Romans 5 and 20. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the law entered right. that the offense might be abound. Mm -hmm. But where sin abound, Grace did much more yes, sir. abound. Yes, sir. Amen. And speaking to you about sons of God. Amen. Sons whose sin is forgiven. Yes. It's forgiven because we trust in the Son of the living God. Yes, sir. Amen. Son whose God called out of darkness and placed into his marvelous light. Amen. Son who God called out of darkness and placed into a position of holiness. holiness. He, he take you out of darkness yes, and put in his holiness. Yes. Oh, my Son who yes. God took out of darkness and placed into his righteousness yes. and called you righteous. Yes, sir. Yes. What a mighty God. Now, why you stay with me? Because yes. I really want you to stay with me. Yes. Because God doesn't have any bastard child. Okay? No, sir. No, 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 no. no. Amen. He don't have a bastard son. No. 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 Lawful. God calls us out of the world of sin mm -hmm. and places the Holy Spirit in us. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And where God is, sin cannot be stayed. Yes. 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 Sin cannot abound where God is. No. That's right. God calls you out of darkness yes. and make you holy. Yes. He positions you into his holiness. Yes. You need to get a hold of this. You need to hold faith hey, unto God's unchanging hands yes. and build your hope and things to turn out. Yes. You need to get a hold of your self worth yes. and know who you are in Christ yes. according to the lifestyle you live. Yes. Is this the very thing that holds you bound? God sin? God took you out of it. Wash your clean. Yes. So you can go back into life. Yes, sir. Brand new. And don't go back into that life anymore. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Yes, sir. So neighbor. 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 So you say it again. So neighbor. neighbor. Why don't you shout it? So neighbor. neighbor. I'm, not I'm not a pig. I'm a son of the living God. I'm a son of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So neighbor, I don't practice sin anymore. I don't practice sin anymore. No. 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 Now if you sin, God is faithful and just. So that when you admit to him, you sin. God of the fountain filled with blood called drawn from Emmanuel's vein. Where sin have plunged beneath the flood and lose their guilty stain. Come on somebody. Yeah. One dip. Yes, one dip. Yes, sir. And you're a 
new man. So come to this fountain so rich and sweet. Cast your poor soul at the Savior's feet. Plunge in today and be made complete. Glory to his name. God gave all his children a spiritual identity. He makes you a brand new creation in Christ. In John 15, 16, you see a makeover. God called us out of sin and placed his divine nature into us. So we can be identified as those who are in the image of Christ. God took us out of sin and made us into his own likeness. So that our ways will change from falling away into his new creation. You see there? I want to show you this wonderful thing that God has done for those who accept his son Jesus Christ. Go there, go there. Praise the Lord, somebody. You're so quiet that I wonder if you're here. I'm going to have to preach again. John 15, 16, what it says. You have not chosen.